Okay. Hello, my friend. Hopefully, you are doing great. Uh, so before we are going to do uh, more stuff in our tutorials, I, I would like to share you how to customize a shared uh, test configuration file. And then from next lesson, uh, you can use the shared test configuration file header. So why do we need something like the shared configuration file? And why do we need to separate some tech configuration? There are several um, reasons that you need to do that. Because uh, for sometimes you see something like run a local, but if you want to run your test script on a uh, browser stuff or short slab, that you want to have another configuration. And then, for example, you want to different capability. Uh, so in this tutorial, you want to go on Android, but um, in your project, maybe you have the capability for iPhone as well. So in that case, uh, you want to separate them and then you can manage them uh, easier based on a specific configuration. That's why we need to create uh, one share uh, test configuration and then we can uh, create more separated test configuration file. So let's see how can we do that. So here is uh, our main test configuration, right? So let me create a new folder. Uh, so by the way, I'm at home, so you can hear some background noise. So please ignore this, okay? So now we are going to create another folder with the name tag configuration or tag config. That's uh, it's up to you, okay? So I'm going to call it yeah, tag config. Um, I think that's uh, enough for us to understand what files under this directory. So under this directory, I'm going to create a new uh, JavaScript file with the name main. Uh, that means I want to keep everything that is common across, uh, even we run local or um, on cloud browser testing. It's not browser, something like cloud testing, like browser stuff or short stuff, something like that, or even we run in different operating system, okay? So here I just, uh, first step I will copy the whole content from the text configuration file that we already have. So I paste here. Now I need to, that's my, what's the difference? So for example, I wanna, I wanna create another text configuration for Android only. So I put something like Android and I enter. That means it's still under text config directory here. So what I'm, I am going to do that I view uh, declare on constant, constant equal, constant equal require the main uh, should be the main configuration here and I'm going to destruct the config object why because I already exported the config uh, object here from the main uh, file here so here I declare constant config and I destructure that object from the, the main right so here what I'm going to do that I view try to override something if I already have in the main configuration file or I will declare some property, new property. So in this case, what I want to do that I will cut all the capability here inside the new Android configuration. That means I will have the config dot capability now I put it equal this value, right? So that means what I have just did that I just delete the capability from the main configuration. And because I thought that this is for Android configuration, so that should relate it to Android. So if I have another uh, type configuration for iOS, I will create something like iOS and then I will put another capability. 
uh, it doesn't mean that you have to uh, create separated tag configuration for Android and iOS, but this is just an example for you. And then you can understand the concept that you can create some share tag configuration. And then you can create another tag configuration for some specific purpose in your project. Okay. So now I want to run this configuration file. And every time I run the, this tag configuration file, it will you all the property from this config object. And then it will add the capability inside. That means everything will be, be uh, will be same like before. So I didn't change anything from the previous lesson. So let's run this tag configuration to make sure that we can run the test script successfully without any problem. Okay. So that means we don't need this tag configuration anymore. Let me just delete it. Okay, just delete it. And now <clears throat> the first step that I will start the IPM server by the command IPM and it will start on the box 24, 47, 23 here. And then I will specify the command npm test. And this time the tag configuration file will be under test config and android.js. That means I want to run the tag configuration file, right? And I hit enter. Now go back to our uh, application. Oh, what's it the problem? Missing capability assisting with failure. Uh, what's it the thing? Oh, okay. I think I think because I forgot to export the config object here. So finally, I need to do something like export uh, dot. Uh, at box dot config equal config because the by default the web driver io will be looking for an object with the name config uh, when the web driver io tag runner uh execute the test script okay just run again and then go back to <coughs> visor to see uh, the test script running on our device. So let's go back to Appium. Okay, it's now go in to connect to the Appium client on the device. Okay. You still remember the test script um, that we did in the previous lesson, right? So everything now should be okay. Yep. So the test path, uh, and you just remember you create a main configuration file. And then you create another file that you think that that is specific something for your project. And finally, you ask for uh, an object with the name config. Okay, config exactly like this equals something like you already have uh, a path. So I have just uh, show you a demonstration how to create uh, share a share tag configuration and create a uh, separated uh, tag configuration for your test. So we may use this concept in next, uh, in next tutorial. Uh, so hopefully you can get the concept, try to practice yourself, keep learning and see you in the next tutorial.